Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a review on the L'Oreal Paris True Match um, Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. This product is really, really good for covering up blemishes or any redness that you might have. Um, I have a lot of redness on my cheeks. I have blemishes down here on my chin, one right here on my nose. Um, my nose is red as well, and then right up here is like red too. Um, so I have a lot to cover up with, and this product I've had for about a couple weeks. Yeah, two weeks now. Um, I got this product probably, actually I probably got it on the 6th, so I've only had it for about a week and a half, maybe. Um, and this has lasted me a pretty long time now. Um, the product is very, very creamy and very, very blend, like, blendable. So I'm gonna like, put it here. I mean, you can tell there's like a yellow swatch, can't you? On my hand, right here. Let me make sure. Yeah. And it just blends right in like a dream. It's so blend, like, you can't even tell that it was there before. Um, another really great thing about this product is that you don't have to sharpen it. All you have to do is twist it up. When you first get this, it does come to a point, so that's good. But this is all the further the product even goes. So, I mean, you don't get very much. But you rarely, you barely need this product, like, because it works so well. Um, I really like the packaging. The packaging is really cute. It's just, you know, a nude beige tube. Um, and you don't have to sharpen it. The lid clicks on so you don't accidentally push it down too far and, like, smash the top or crack your lip lid because that's happened to me with the NYX jumbo pencil, jumbo eye pencils. I cracked my lid, so it's not doing so well because I pushed it down too far, um, which is by accident, but I like that this has a stopper for it and that you can just, you know, twist up however much you need, but you really don't need that much. This goes a really long way, um, but mine is like all gone. Um, the packaging is very comparable to the, I'm going to find one. I don't know where they are. I should have an orange one there. These are my lip products, so they're not going to be like the same type of thing. But the packaging is kind of similar to the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. Um, this one, the color that I'm showing you right now, is in Rendevious. I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But, I mean, it'll come to a point like this in here, but I've already used the point. And then it just twists up. Same with this. Um, with the lip, I think you probably get more product. Yeah. And that's all the further this one goes as well. So you don't get too much of these products, but um, that's expected. These ones are $7.99 if you are wondering. Um, and I really like those a lot. I also have like a purple one, so I don't know what that's called. But anyway, back to the L'Oreal Paris True Match. Um, they, it's very, very smooth, very, very creamy, very, very blendable. I find that it's more that it blends easier if you have a primer on. So I use the Professional on my cheeks, and I've been using the L'Oreal Paris Magic Perfecting Base for my chin, this area of my nose, and on my forehead and my temples. Um, and it blends really nicely with that as well, so if you want to use that all over your face, you can. But since my pores are pretty large on my cheeks, I like to use the Professional because it hides them and minimizes them, and I don't have to worry about them showing. So it blends well over that too, and it doesn't like remove any of the primer either. So it works pretty well in that regard. Um, it kind of feels like if you've ever tried the Boing um, concealers from Benefit, this kind of feels the same way that powdery type feel. Um, they also have a weird scent to them. I don't know what it is, but it it just smells kind of disgusting. I don't know what the, sell, sm the smell is, but it's not good, whatever it is. It doesn't smell too good, but like you don't notice it after you blend it in. Um, this is how I apply it. I'll just put a little bit here. Um, let me see, where else do I need this? Right there. Um, and I just dab it on. I don't really mark it on like you would normally, like, draw on your face or something. And I just pat it in with my finger. I just tap it in like that or pat it in however you want to. 
say. And it blends right in like that, so you can't even notice it. I also like to go around my lips with this, so it's really good for if you're doing a red lip and you want your red lip to pop out or, you know, you've had a little bit of it, you know, run outside of your lips. Um, this helps clean that up. Also, I like to use under my brow to highlight or kind of hide any little hairs that you need. Um, wax because I have that issue right now so I put this on and I can't really see that they're there um, which is good because it camouflage that um, so I have nothing but good to say about this the only thing I don't like is the scent but the scent goes away after you blend it in and really you can't smell it if it's on your forehead anyway um, I do use it around my nose but I can't smell it even if it is around my nose but that only thing is the scent is kind of weird if you, you know, sit here and smell it, you're just like, what is that? But other than that, this is a really good product. It's only $8. You can get this at Walgreens, CVS, Target, Walmart, anywhere that sells L'Oreal. And it's not too new. It's been out for a while now. And again, it is $8, so it is reasonable. And you do get a lot, and a little goes a long way. So you don't have to use a lot of this product. Again, I'm in the shade W123, so if you use the True Match shade W12 or 3, this is a stick for you. If not, they have different other colors as well for the neutrals and the cool tones. And this is for warm tones. But anyway, that is my little review on this product. I hope you guys go and try it out. If you do, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And if you want me to do more reviews, I will be happy to do any review that you could think of because I have a lot, a lot of makeup products and I could probably have something you want me to review so if you do want me to do a review on anything else comment below what it is in the comments and I will talk to you guys later bye